Now, for another episode of Wasting Money to Prove a Point, I present to you a $6 light meter app versus a $600 NASA-approved light meter. If you follow any of my guides, you'll see I have the recommended light intensity all throughout different stages of growth, and it's extremely important that you follow this for the best results. Making sure that your levels are right starts with the tools you use to measure them. Now, a lot of people clown me for using a phone app, and I get it, it looks bootleg. So, now that I have this Apogee, Let's see if you're right. I've researched this app thoroughly. I even made my own tutorial on how to use it. And if you're iOS, you need to make a paper diffuser if it tells you. One of the things I discovered is the paper type actually makes a difference. For Androids, the readings vary for every device. And as of this recording, the app is still in its beta phase. However, I was pleasantly surprised with the results. Anyhow, these are the controls to my test. I have a 3x3 tent, my favorite light of all time, Spider Farmer SF2000, centered and exactly two feet up. On the floor, I have a spot marked for where I'll be measuring the light intensity using an Apogee MQ500, a Samsung S22 Ultra, using Photone, an iPhone 14 Pro using Photone with Walmart paper, Staples paper, Epson paper, and for shits and giggles, IRS paper. Give it to the man. All these devices had the app updated as of recording and no calibrations were made on any of them. To make sure the readings were taken from the same distance from the light, I have this Govi box that elevates the phone's camera to the same height as the probe on the Apogee. A set of measurements was taken at minimal power, 50% power, and 100% power. So here's the readings for the minimal. See the Apogee, 69 PPFD, Epson, 77 PPFD, Walmart, 89, Staples 74, IRS 108, and S22 Ultra 69. At 50% light, Apogee is 295, Epson 322, Walmart 374, Staples 313, IRS 448 and S22 Ultra 323. At 100% light power, Apogee's at 545, Epson 593, Walmart 686, Staples 573, IRS 840, and S22 Ultra 598. So here it is. These are the results. It's worth mentioning that as stated on the manual, the Apogee may have a discrepancy of 5% straight out of the box. I had this data mapped out to a chart and you could see it's linear, which is great because now you could calibrate it using the video linked in the description. Apogee is the lowest readings Next after that is going to be the iPhone with Staples paper. And then kind of even is the Epson and then the Galaxy Ultra. You could see that the Walmart and the IRS paper is off. So I definitely wouldn't recommend using that unless you calibrate. I find that the cheaper the paper is, the thinner, hence the higher readings. The fact that Photone actually reads higher than Apogee shows that the bootleg readings that I had on my light reviews are actually better than the actual readings, which goes to show that these lights that I said were bad were even worse than what I recorded them at. If a Staples is around you, 
The best paper I tested is the 22 pound bright white, which shows a discrepancy of 6%. To save $600 for a 6 to 10% discrepancy is a no-brainer. And now that you have this data, you could calibrate your readings for better accuracy. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like, hit that bell, and for more honest reviews and the best tutorials on how to grow weed, check out our site, hwgrow.com.